Garana, what do you make of that criticism that President Trump has received on using the White House as, an, as a convention backdrop? Well, it certainly points us to this sort of tension that's uh, basically embedded in the office of the presidency, where president is uh, the chief of the executive branch, the, the head of state, but also the head of uh, his own party. Uh, while other presidents have obviously been reluctant to uh, ever use uh, the White House really as the backdrop for their convention speeches, um, Throughout the campaign, obviously, you can't just separate campaigning from uh, the the business of the executive branch and of the presidency. But leaning in uh, as much as uh, this administration is, is doing that is clearly a break from tradition. And we'll see that uh, yet again with uh, First Lady Melania Trump's speech from the newly refurbished Rose Garden in a couple of minutes. Yes, the newly refurbished uh, Rose Garden is where she will be speaking in moments from now. Uh, Gurana, I do want to get your thoughts on what do you make of Mike Pompeo's speech and all that talk about the focus on President Trump's foreign policy being squarely on fixing the relation with China as also with Iran and that maximum pressure policy that he believes has worked in setting things right. So Mike Pompeo's speech is yet another one that's a break from tradition. As you were saying earlier, obviously, secretaries of state uh, haven't been participating in party conventions uh, going back to, to as early as uh, uh, basically post-World uh, War II period. Uh, in his speech that we just heard uh, um, moments ago, he basically wants to make this case of President Trump's leadership on the world stage of someone who will not be pushed aside, uh, of someone who is firmly committed to protecting U.S. Uh, national interests. But uh, there is a discrepancy between rhetoric, obviously, and the deliverables. So there is a huge scramble now to actually broker some deals. And this is how we can read uh, the deal between the, the norm normalization between uh, Jerusalem and uh, United, United Arab Emirates. And obviously, China is going to feature very much in these sort of talks, as well as uh, obviously the maximum pressure campaign on Iran.